World Heritage Bid is all about what UNESCO call outstanding universal value. So that's, that's above national value, it transcends value to all humanity, essentially. I, I've been involved since 2019, and one of my jobs a couple of years ago was this, what's called an international comparative analysis, where I had to compare the Victorian gold fields with California, with the Klondike and so on. And there is no doubt about it that what you have in Victoria here is so special, it's unparalleled. The earliest opportunity we would have if the government so uh, agrees to it would be 2026 for a nomination to go in and then it takes 18 months thereafter the examination by UNESCO including a visit by an expert to the site. So it's more than just about gold mining because there's something here that's so special that the world deems it suitable to place on this prestigious, the best of the best, the World Heritage List. What does World Heritage bring on a successful inscription? Inscription, it tends to be transformative. It brings pride to communities, but what is the other obvious thing that it brings? It brings international tourism. It brings a market to you that's otherwise substantially difficult to reach. Technically, it's what we call a cultural landscape bid. So it's more, about, more than just about gold mining. And then we have the gold rush itself and those wider effects such as we see living on here in central Victorian gold fields. It's not just about places, it's about people, the people of the past, but also the people of the present and the future. And that's where these communities come in. So the cultural landscape approach has the greatest potential for the greatest socio-economic impact on communities forever. It's a game changer. So the Victorian gold fields chronicles the, uh, the, the dynamics of the Victorian gold rush from 1851, basically right through to 1900, although we do have these concentrated years in the 50s and 60s. Here we are in the central Victorian gold fields, but we've also got those, the extension to those areas to the west and the subalpine areas of eastern Australia. This, this partnership between the, the, the 15 LGAs, the Victorian Goldfields Tourism Executive, tourism is important. Of course, that's one of the most obvious changes that a World Heritage Inscription makes, apart from the, uh, the benefits to the conservation of the place. It, does, it, it is transformative in terms of the regional tourism. Visitors don't come and look at lines on a map, they come to the Victorian Goldfields and they go where we market buildings from the Gold Rush era, not just here in Bendigo and Ballarat, but throughout these rural townships, remarkable places, botanical gardens, real cultural imprints of this Victorian Gold Rush period. And it's not just about creating new businesses, but sustaining existing businesses. Part of this process is community engagement. It's, it's, it's sustaining that awareness of where we are and where we're going. What I would urge everyone to do is just check out the website and, and keep looking because we're on a journey now that's, that's coming to the end.